Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. And at this time, the brethren are going to come to help us to receive our Sunday morning worship offering and Sunday morning tithe. You give as unto the Lord. God will bless you as you give to him. Let's receive a good offering for the Lord. There are needs in the work of the Lord, all right? Now, now most of us here, I would say 99% of us here, enjoy the air conditioning. There might be 1% that doesn't. But <laughs> I'm not going to say any names, right? But... <laughs> But it's warmer up here than it is down there. So we pre how many appreciate the air conditioning, especially when it's 96 degrees? Now, I know that Ron and Nora appreciate it because their air conditioner in their house went out. So come out, hang out here in the church, all right? So, and uh, they're getting a new one here shortly. But the thing about it is all these things cost money, right? And, all the, and I hate to say it, it's not about money, but we do have to pay the bills, right? And so we'll say, well, well, I'll hold back so someone else will do it. Well, if we all just do our part, because a lot of people have that mindset, well, if I'll just hold back, and it doesn't matter, but we do this together, all right? Pay your tithe. God expects us and God commands us to pay our tithe, right? And then God expects us to give. And the Bible said the Lord loves a cheerful giver. So you give us unto the Lord today. Let's receive a good offering. Now, uh, and I'm not making this up. Sometimes Ron will do the offerings. They're like $26. It doesn't, doesn't pay the tax hardly. Amen? That's like on a Thursday night or whatever. I believe we can do better than that. Amen? So let's receive a good offering as unto the Lord to meet the needs of his work. And may God bless you abundantly. Amen? Brother Jim, sir, please pray. Ask God to bless the gift and the giver. Amen. At this time, Brother Ron is coming to help us to receive a wonderful, generous, outstanding Thursday evening offering. Amen. Amen. All Christians pay tithe. Amen? Amen. Well, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. Trust God. Believe God. Step out. And, and God will bless you as we give a tenth of our income to the Lord. And God will bless you as you're faithful to that. Amen? Amen. So tonight, let's receive a good offering as unto the Lord. We can give online at myntcc.org slash junctioncityks. At our website, there's an online donation button there. Or on cash app at dollar sign NTCC Junction City. But tonight, let's receive a good offering as unto the Lord. Amen? It's, it's payday. Amen? It's payday. Let's give a good offering to the Lord. Brother Ron, sir, please pray. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated this evening. It is good to be in the house of the Lord on a Thursday night. Amen. God is good and God is worthy of all of our praise and adoration. Amen. At this time, Brother Ron is coming to help us to receive the... Thursday evening, tithe and offering. All Christians pay tithe. Amen? Amen. And gladly give an offerings as unto the Lord. Let's receive a good offering from the Lord. You can't outgive God. Can someone say amen to that? Amen. Well, don't go to sleep on me tonight. We cannot outgive God. Amen. How many want to be blessed by the Lord? Amen. Be a blessing to him. Amen. We can give online at myntcc.org slash junctioncityks or on Cash App at dollar sign NTCC Junction City. Or let's just give in the offering bag. Amen. Now, if you're going to give online or pretend like you're giving online, at least give online. Amen. Because yeah. sometimes Ron says, I think they're giving online. I said, no, they're not. Because I look at the, I see the reports. All right. So, you know, let's, let's just tell the truth about it. Amen. But let's give to God and God will bless you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Brother Ron, sir, please pray. Praise at this time, the brethren are going to come to help us to receive the Sunday morning tithe and the Sunday morning worship offering. We can give online at myntcc.org slash junctioncityks. There's a donation button there. Or on Cash App, dollar sign NTCC Junction City. Or the good old-fashioned way, put it in a tithe envelope. Pay your tithe. Give to God. God will bless you. Amen. And today, today, let's receive a special offering. We need, there's about $400 worth of bills that we need to pay in the church. And so I think we can, we can raise, that, raise that in this service today. So maybe you look to God, ask God, give what you can. But maybe you can give a little bit more than what you normally give, whatever God wants you to do. Amen? We're not trying to hurt anybody. We're not trying to put anybody in a bind. But we do this thing together. Amen? Yeah. And if we all do our part, 
good things will happen for God. Amen? So do what you, you pray about it as we get ready to pray. You ask God, God, what do you, what do you want me to give? If you normally give a dollar, or maybe you give two dollars, or maybe today you can give five dollars. If you give fifteen dollars, maybe you can give twenty-five, or whatever. Whatever God will let you do. Amen? Amen. We spend our money where we want to spend it on anyhow, don't we? So let's not leave God out there in the cold, so to speak. Amen? So today, God bless you as you give unto him to meet the needs of the work of the Lord. Amen? Amen. For the wrong sir, please pray. Ask God to bless the gift and the giver. Amen. This time, Pastor Keckle is going to come to minister the word of the Lord. We know God has something good for us this afternoon. I'm glad tithing is not just an Old Testament teaching. Because if it was, the statements in 1 Corinthians 9 would not be there. For example, he said, did God write not, not, to, tread, not to muzzle the ox for the ox's sake? He said, no, it was for our sake which is New Testament days. It's for our sake that they that preach the gospel should live of the gospel. Man, the people ought to take care of their pastor. They ought to bring him veggies out of the garden. They ought to give him offerings, buy him Starbucks, take care of him. But nowadays, it's like, Peter's in it just for the money. But you should take care of him. You want him there when you need counseling. You want him there when you're in the hospital. You want him there when you need somebody to pray. And you want him to teach you the word and to study and get all that. But you don't want to do anything to take care of him, you loser. You don't have...